Really looking forward to bringing this to people's living room. Now at six, monster trucks. Organizers finding a new way to bring a favorite event to fans. Now the sporting and entertainment industry has had to come up with alternative ways to hold their events while keeping people safe. A local monster truck show is now following suits, bringing their show to your TVs, phones, and tablets. First News reporter Nadine Grimley shows us how it's happening. Big wheels and even bigger air. A sporting event that once packed in fans now has to adapt because of the COVID-19 pandemic. With spectators not allowed, the event would have otherwise had to have been canceled. But two local guys decided to bring monster truck racing straight to your living rooms. The outlaw monster truck drags had to nix their 4th of July race at the Canfield Fairgrounds. With social distancing, we are not allowed to do it in the fairgrounds because it holds too many people too close together. That's when drivers Gary Bauer of Brookfield and Joe Sylvester from Canfield came up with a plan. We said, well, how can we bring our show to the fans if the fans can't come to us? So they took their show to the truck night track at Yankee Lake with no fans, just the staff and cameras catching every angle. The track is really fun. The, the plus side to doing this is we're not confined to a small venue like a stadium or a fairground. We have 200 acres of playground here at Yankee Lake. The races and other popular events are being pre-recorded this week. The car crushing action will air in a three part pay-per-view series starting June 29th. We got some other tricks up our sleeve that people haven't seen done. In Yankee Lake, Nadine Grimley, WKBN 27 First News.